हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज गोइंग टू दर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ माइक्रो पाइथन सीरीज इन दिस सीरीज वी विल ट्राई टू गेट यू ऑल कंफर्टेबल राइटिंग कोड्स इन माइक्रो पाइथन यूजिंग योर ईस पी थर्टी टू बोर्ड टू बिल्ड योर फ्यूचर प्रोजेक्ट सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू डाउनलोड एनी फॉर्म वेयर फाइल ऑफ माइक्रो पाइथन फॉर योर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सेकेंड स्टेप वी विल डाउनलोड एनी आई डी फॉर माइक्रो पाइथन and third how to flash any firmware file into your microcontroller using ide so uh, also we are writing a very basic piece of code in micro python to blinking the led to get the button states to turning on and off the led and also uh, please don't worry if you are not uh, aware of micro python so after seeing this video you will be get comfortable in writing code in micro python so without wasting some more time let's get started so guys the first step is to download the firmware from the internet so for that we will go to the browser and go to the official site of the micro python i am opening it so in the downloads menu so we will find the list of the microcontroller so we need to identify the correct microcontroller in which we want to flash the firmware so in my case it is esp32 do it board development board so i am opening this so here uh, we'll in the firmware releases we will find the latest what number of version histories so we will we'll download the latest firmware so we can download dot bin file dot elf file and dot map file so i am downloading the dot bin file so the first is uh, to download the firmware and second step is to download the id so for id uh, i am uh, suggesting the tony id that is very good for the beginners so so for that uh, we can have download it from the official website only i will be adding both the links of the website into the description please check so here we can download the software files depending upon the operating system that you are using so in my case i am downloading it for the mac if you are using windows linux you can download it so so in my case i have already installed it so this is a very we can see very similar to the arduino id so that's why i have suggested it to use so you can use any of the ids available over the internet for the micro python so uh, yes we will good to go for flashing the firmware so before going to the firmware flashing we need to install one plugin so for installing it we can go to the tools manage plugin so in manage plugin we need to search for esp tools so we will typing it here esp tool so uh, this is the utility to communicate and flash the code into the esp chips so uh, in my case uh, there are already esp tools is already installed so that's why i'm not getting a install button over here so in your case if you, if you are not able to install so you can just type esp tools and click on the install button so once the installation is done so you can go back to the id and we need to select the board and then we'll proceed to the firmware so for uh, firmware flashing we need to go to the run configure interpreter so in configure interpreter we need to select the interpreter first so we are using asp32 board so i have selected micro python asp32 board as a interpreter and in the port or the web repl so we can select cp2102 usb to urt this is my port for the asp32 so the this is selected so after this we need to click on the install or update micro python that button is below here in the right side so for that we need to select the port we need to browse the firmware so that that the, the firmware which we have downloaded we need to select those and then we we need to note one thing here to download the correct firmware for the microcontroller because it might damage the flash memory of the controller so we need to select one more option here erase flash before installing so just select it and install 
So uh, for installing, when we have click on the install button, we need to take care of one more point. So here in the microcontroller, we need to press the boot button. So when we press the boot button, it will start flashing the controller like this it is showing the writing at this this percentage is showing that means the flashing is performing two very boring minutes later so as uh, we can see the firmware is flashed into the controller so let's check whether the it is properly flashed or not so we'll go back to the id so as here we'll stop so uh, we'll see here the ESP32 module with ESP32 and with some micro Python version is there. And we'll see the three arrows. So these three arrows are termed as REPL, R-E-P-L, read, evaluate, print and loop. So this is the feature of Python in which we will be going to interact with the Python interpreter, means Python power devices. So in our case, it is ESP32 board. So that means without uploading any code to the controller, we can still able to communicate with the microcontroller. So let's uh, check by typing some basic commands over here. So we'll uh, going to try with the very first program that every programmer should check while learning the new language that is print hello world. So we'll just type print so it is printing hello world and this is directly communicating it with the microcontroller means we are not running it in the any id or any python installed pc we are running this in the microcontroller so now check the same uh, by blinking the built-in LED of microcontroller. So for that, uh, we can also check by typing help also, ki what type of commands we can try it here. So as we can see, to communicate with the controller. So here one library we need to import, that is the machine library. And then uh, we'll directly defining the pin by machine dot pin the pin number and whether this is the out or in pin. So and then we can change the value. So let's try it by typing. So we'll change the pin number. Our built in LED pin number is two. And first we'll import the machine library and then we have assigned the pin 12 into the machine dot pin pin number and the it whether the it is the out or in pin and then we are going to change the value so let's try it once yes we can see it in the controller the value is getting changed so now try it with the pin 12 dot value bracket zero so we can see the we are directly communicating with the SP32 board without uploading uploading any single line of codes. So let's try with uploading some code to the microcontroller. Now we can upload a piece of code into the microcontroller. So for that, uh, first we need to do a hardware connection. So just see the hardware uh, layout first. So after connecting the uh, buttons and the LEDs with that particular hardware connection, so we are going to go for writing the code. So for writing the code, first we need to go to the ID again and we need to create a new file. So here uh, we will just simply write the code. So first we will have to import the machine library that we can able to communicate with the hardware. And then uh, we are going to import time library. 
so for giving the delays and all so here the time library is used in python so first we'll uh, define the led pin so first we'll writing the program to blinking the led right so i have connected one led here so we'll blink we we'll write the upload the code for blinking the led so led pin is equal to machine dot pin bracket the pin number in which you have connected the led in my case i have connected it to the 22 pin comma machine dot pin dot whether this is the output pin whether this is the input pin that we need to define that is the output pin that we are going to define so no uh, semicolon here we need to provide so just uh, now we are going to define the loop while we while true that is the infinite loop so here in python there is uh, no curly braces that we need to give in, in between the functions so here the with the help of indentation that is handled so as you can see when i even have pressed the enter button so one tab is there so this is this is this indentation is used to define the function so if we write something into the function that the indentation we need to follow let's suppose we need to write function within function so then the inside the while loop we'll write something and then let's suppose you have to type the if statement so inside if then if you will press the enter the one more tab is will be there that is the indentation in the python so while true we'll write a simple blinking led program so here what you have to do led dot led pin dot value bracket one so we'll uh, provide some delay means time dot sleep bracket one one is the one second if you want to give a 500 milliseconds of delay then you can give 0.5 so then in led dot under led underscore pin dot value bracket zero again we'll give some delay time dot sleep bracket one so simple for blinking the led we need to write these things so for what we have to do we need to click on the stop we need, we have to save this particular program and in where to save it is showing so we have to save it in the micro python device so we'll select that particular option here uh, we need to note one more point so here we can find boot.py file and we need to save the main functions files or into the microcontroller by main.py file because um, the firmware is denied designed in such a way so first it will find boot.py file it will execute that particular python file and then it will search for the main.py file so if you want to execute any python scripts files so just we need to define everything inside this main main file so that's why this particular name is fixed so we'll type main.py and save it so once we have saved it we need to re reset the controller once we, we have reset it we can see the led is started blinking so this is a uh, a basic steps where that we need to follow to upload any piece of code into the controller so let's see one more example so what you can do is we'll stop this execution so here uh, we, have, we have to do we'll take uh, input button so here we will define we'll define button button pin is equal to similarly machine dot pin bracket in which the gpio pin the we have selected the button again machine dot pin dot in that is the input pin that we need to define so similarly inside the loop only we will type button status we will get the button status first button status is equal to button underscore pin dot value 
so from here we'll get the button status now we'll write if button status is equal equal to true colon then led pin value should be high else it should be low like that we will write a code so indentation as i have told you before that is needs to be taken care so here no need to provide any sleep so here else we will provide else led pin dot value is equal to zero like that then this is the steps that we need to write only we will you can remove this time library so just similarly we need to stop the execution we need to save the existing file and just we need to reset the control so now it is controller is getting reset just try as we can see when i have pressing the button when i am pressing this button the led is getting turned on so this is a very basic steps how we can communicate with the microcontroller so now we can optimize the app this program also like here we have uh, imported the machine library so what we can uh, how we can optimize by typing the less number of commands here so we can do from machine import pin like that from machine library we have only imported the pin structure so just we can remove the pin machine we can remove it from the pin similarly we will remove we will stop we will save we will reset the controller similarly now again we can check like that so yes we by doing that we can try multiple things so this is the very basic steps that we need to do the reason of mine to move into the micro python is like that when i have search into the internet about the topics like ai ml computer vision to build next level of projects so i found that computer vision requires open cv that is based upon python and ml requires tensor flow right that is again based upon python so i have decided to move into the micro python to build new projects thank you guys uh, for watching this video i hope that you have learned something from this video in the upcoming episode of micro python we will see how to communicate with sensor actuators apis so please stay tuned so if you have liked this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and share this video as much as you can I will be see you in the next video